Hammer Smash, 103.7 FM, CFBU. This is Hammer Smash, Joey. And it's Metal Mike sit right next to him. You're back, Joe. I am back. Back from the blood-filled black metal fest, intense, crazy dungeon of death that I went to last Sunday. Back in black metal. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're going to be uh, talking about that because that's, uh, that's why I wasn't here last week. Right. Because I was at that Watain show, Destroyer Six 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 show, so we'll give a uh, we'll talk about that. Absolutely, we mentioned that uh, because I wasn't updated before I left here in the studio last week. Because uh, you mentioned um, that the blood they actually came out with the blood, and I did tell the audience that you did get covered in blood. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. We're yeah, gonna you, find out tonight. Uh, it was cool because at the beginning of the show, you like you know you were telling the hammerheads that there might be blood, there might not mm. be, we don't know, and then I texted you like. When there was, I don't know, maybe a few minutes left in this show to go, and, and I did uh, confirm, but we'll uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk get about more. We'll get more in detail later. How much later. blood there was, yeah. and how the show was, and you also went to a show last night. Another show last night. I went to the Geekery and uh, got to see a lot of fun bands. Going to talk about that when Jillian was here a couple weeks ago. We talked about that show. Mm-hmm. So uh, yeah, going to go over the Geekery show from last night. Uh, some other shenanigans. What else? You talked about a lot of fun stuff last week. You talked about. Um, the Elimination Chamber, too, as well. The Elimination Chamber. Yeah, uh, you caught a little bit of it before you came here. And uh, my, <clears> my <throat> prediction that I predicted that I also really didn't want to happen came true. So, you know, we're, we're both a little yeah, bummed Yeah, you got to stop uh, yeah, stop predicting things for <laughs> wrestling because you, you're, most of the time you're right. And, uh, and most of the time, I don't like the outcome. And I'm always right in the way that I don't want it to be right. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, always wrong, always right in the way that we don't want it to happen. But yeah, we'll talk more about the uh, Royal Rumble as well as not the Rumble, yeah. the uh, Elimination, Elimination Chamber, Chamber yeah. as well as some uh, more metal sports things and some more shenanigans, some and more lot, metal and lots of music. Normally, I bring in a lot of stoner rock and stuff like that. I do have some new, some uh, stoner rock to present to present to you and the Hammerheads. What else about a lot of other uh, heavier stuff? I'm gonna play a song right now. Uh, they're I just discovered them today. Actually, they're I guess the description. That the person wrote down is like it's part of a he calls it a bedroom project and I don't know what that means so I, bedroom maybe it's like a one man band a one person he kind of do, yeah does, this, does like uh, all the instruments maybe and I guess it's part of a story but it, it intrigued me I don't know it kind of reminds me of like if Uncle Lasset and the Deadbeats combined elements of black metal whoa yeah. That's pretty interesting. And, uh, I'm going to play them now. You're, you're on a roll, eh? Finding all these cool bands and all this random stuff. You brought in that Italian band last week. I got another Italian band. Not, to play, another yeah. Italian doom band to play tonight. Ooh, looking forward to it. Looking forward to all the metal that we're going to bring in. So let's start with Metal Mike with uh, what you got. The band is called The Valley Ritual. The song is called In a White Dress. And here it is on Hammer Smash 103.7 FM. Hammer Smash 103.7 FM. You just heard a crazy block of metal taking you kind of around the world there. Well, not really too far around the world, but the last song you heard was Meet the Mailman, the song My Deadly Space coming out of Canada. The band before that was Wyvern. I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Was that the one from Egypt? Yes. That was interesting. That's a song called The Clown. And before that, the band called The Valley Ritual, the song In a White Dress. That's that, like, uh, the way I interpret it was like Uncle Lasted and the Deadbeats meet black metal. And I, I think that it, your list, you listeners can probably pick up what I'm saying about that. I don't know any other way to describe it. Yeah, he's got a little bit more, well, a little bit more distortion in the doom, and then there was that black metal vocals as well too that mixed it as well. I like your comparisons. You got some random comparisons. I like it. <laughs> makes you makes you think though of things that you've never uh, would think of before. My uh, my former guitar player back in the day used to get really pissed off, and I'm sure other people do this, right? Uh, like a guitar player will show you a riff. And you were like, "Oh yeah, that kind of sounds like uh, it kind of sounds like Sabbath or that guy." Yeah. And you just draw <laughs> yeah. these comparisons, and they get mad. They're like, "No, yeah, it yeah totally. Like, it sounds like me." Well, it's, like- <laughs> it's the same thing with like uh, a lot of music reviews of albums. They'll say, "Oh, it, you know, it's got some of this band in there, this band in that." Mm-hmm. Well, how about they sound like that band? Yeah, like us, like the me. band that they are <laughs> yeah. trying to do. I, I don't know. Yeah, no, you can only compare things to things that you know. You know what I mean? That's true, right? Because you need some kind of. Um, Basis or That's background like or something. When I first started getting into hip hop, right, I, I would listen to that slower hip hop, and I'd be like, "Well, that sounds really doomy." You know what I mean? Like, Whoa! Because like, like, um, there's doom hip hop. There's a rapper called Immortal Technique, and he has a song yeah, that yep. he's most known for. Oh, yeah, and, uh, the Dance with the Devil. Dance with the Devil, yep. And, like, dude, that's a that's a Doom song. It is. It's you know a slow I mean? song. It's dark. The contents as well is pretty Doom as well. Right? Yeah, that is a pretty Doom song. 
doom in unexpected places. Mm, there, there you go. go. It's knocked off a knocked off a talk bit right there. But you did find metal in, in an actual expected Very place. Very expected place. And that would be at the Opera House last week mm. where uh, they allow metal to was be played at their venue. Or was there any opera? <laughs> no, <that laughs> there was no there was no <laughs> opera that night. But it was uh it was probably the most brutal show I've ever um well, I would say brutal, evil. That's a better word. Evil, evil show. Okay. show I've ever been to, and I know um, you did the show here last week without me. And uh, you know, I listened to the podcast, and a lot of a uh, which lot everyone of hype. listening should do. Yeah, listen to that podcast of us every week that we will upload onto up, YouTube. Onto YouTube. There you go. But I listened to that on YouTube, and uh, there was a lot of hype of you talking about that show, about like you know the creepy stuff that was going on, and, and dude, yeah, you didn't oversell it because it was <laughs> insane. Holy crap. Uh, well, let's start off with uh, the, the first band. They're well, there called, was uh, three bands, right? Three I kept, bands, yes. I kept talking about the two. Destroyer the first one was Revenge. Okay. Yeah, Revenge I didn't know was about that. that. They were from uh, Edmonton. They were like a black grindcore band. Really intense, really chaotic, off the rails, just in your face metal. Right. And the crowd really enjoyed it. It was uh, it was very intense. We're a great way to start off like that show with just a really chaotic metal band. Uh, and then uh, after that was Destroyer 666, who I've wanted to see for a long time. And uh, they did not disappoint, although I wish they played longer, but they weren't the headlining bands. You did know? they play That's most of uh, their stuff off Wildfire? I believe they played four songs. Yeah, four, so they played Hounds Off Your Back, Wildfire, Traitor. You know, there's a, there's a restaurant else. in St. Catharines called Wild, Wildfire. There is, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was yeah. almost kicked out of there once. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Playing some Destroyer 666 probably. Or I wanted loud. to get a picture of like me standing underneath the sign and then send it to them, but yeah. I, I forgot. <laughs> I, I still might do that, though. Hey, do it up. Yeah. But, uh, you know, they did, uh, it was a good show. They put on a great show. They killed it. Just so much energy, good blackened thrash, death metal. It was it was awesome. So much so much energy. And like I said, I've wanted to see them for a long time, so for me it was fulfilling. But uh, Watain, again, they were the main guys, and... Uh, I, that was a band I've wanted to see for a long time as well. And when I finally saw them, I made sure to be front row. Because when I'm at a show like that, Metal Mike, you know, especially like a really aggressive show and one that's going to be more visually appealing, mm -hmm. I definitely like to be very right up front. Because, you know, you sacrifice a little bit of the sound because everybody knows, well, musicians know that if you're at a show, you stand back a little bit farther halfway. That's where the that, sound is where the best. sound resonates the best. Yeah, yeah but uh, so I sacrifice some of the sound to be up close. But really, when you're at a chaotic show, the best place is to be up front to just absorb the that energy. just wall of sound and energy yeah. and just chaotic. I don't know. For me, that's what I think for that type of show: black metal, death metal, right up front. It's great. I like to I like to do a similar thing. Um, for the opening bands, I always like to sit back, kind of maybe near the soundboard. Yeah, but the sound guy as close as I can, just so I could actually hear. Oh the yeah, the for sure. Because that's where the best sound is. Because that's where the sound guy is, obviously. Mm -hmm. But then, um, for the like the main band, you know, I'll always go up to the front. Especially uh, too for this main band. Like I said, it was their uh, their visual look looks so creepy. Like uh, again, with the word evil, very evil on stage with the a lot of the uh, occult and dark, creepy imagery. And you know, it's funny with a band like Watain. A lot of the black metal bands do the Satanism and occult and stuff, but Watain. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, they really nail it on the head. They make it seem where it's like very serious. It's not as like, it's not as here's a good example. It's not as Undertaker Kane. Okay. You know what I mean? You know, Undertaker Kane, evil, but it's like, it's funny. It's like it's like a show. It's a show, exactly. A lot of metal band, death, black metal bands, kind of take that approach. The Undertaker Kane evil because you know for the show, Watain takes that show to a next level. And like, they don't like they don't play. What do you mean? They don't like play. they don't like they don't play around. Oh like, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, they don't. Yeah, they don't. They don't play around. Yeah, like, yeah like, for sure. For example, um, the only like a comparison I could make is like when we saw Belfagor. You know, he talks in between, and you know, yeah, he's he, all creepy and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I'm Ma going to assume like Watain just doesn't. Yeah, mess with they them. don't mess around. They're just giving you it all, and like when they're talking, it's serious and mm -hmm. it's just creepy, creepy stuff going on, and probably the creepiest part and the most real was the very beginning, and that. I'm getting to is the pig's blood. Now everyone is uh, a lot of people know about watching that, that they do. That's the thing that they do. Uh, you can go look up at TMZ.com and like look up Watain, and you'll see like an article they did about Watain, like how brutal this pig's blood thing is that they did. They made like people throw up and stuff. Whoa. So it is known, like even in the news, that they do it. So um, uh, and I was like you, I didn't think they were going to do it. Didn't think they were going to do it at all. But I started you know checking online. Apparently they did it and. 
Montreal. They did it in this city. And what, apparently what they do is they lie to the uh, the promoter or whoever, the venue person's face. Mm-hmm. And just, you know, no, 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 we're not going to do that. No, 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 not here. <laughs> Definitely not. And they just do it anyway. Nice. They probably go to a local butcher shop, get some pig's blood or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. And, um, well, I'll give you my perspective. He was, I was front row seat. He was standing there with a skull chalice over his head. And I'm looking there like, what? What's he doing? What is he gonna do? <laughs> and then when the song like starts, like the drums kick in and all the stuff gets rolling, just throws it, the contents of that chalice in my face. Whoa! And um, well, not just my face; it was other people around right, me that right, got right. A, a big dose. The guy next to me got crushed. I had just like splatter everywhere. The other guy was like red, like that. Whoa! Like your microphone right there. I've always Crazy. wondered, you know, like, and not just with like <clears throat> that band in particular, but. Any band that kind of throws liquids out to the crowd, man, like they must destroy phones. Oh yeah, Ozzy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's where I was getting to. <laughs> he, just throws, that's where I was getting. <laughs> he just throws buckets of water on people, dude. That's uh, awesome. When I seen Ozzy, he had a hose. When I seen Ozzy solo, he had a hose, and it's like like a huge like freaking fireman's hose, and he's spraying people in the front row. <laughs> and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> how many phones? You could, you could like rip someone's face off with yeah. that. <laughs> how, how many phones are being destroyed? Oh yeah, by Ozzy, Ozzy. Does, Ozzy doesn't care. He doesn't care. And neither did um, Eric from Watane, who threw no. pig's blood on my face. He, you know, he probably does that. Like, like if he sees someone holding a phone, I bet he throws it purposely on them and the phone. I would. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> you want to get a video? Here you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, it's perfect. But uh, who'd you get the picture with, by the way? Who was that? Oh, just the dude that was standing next to me. Oh, who got yeah, it? yeah, because okay. he was just crushed and and uh, I took that picture for you because I'm like, oh, I gotta show my buddy. I'm like, I gotta uh, his show him how brutal. His face was. is officially on our podcast. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> cool. You can check that out on YouTube. Yeah, I listened to Metal Mike uh, ramble uh, by himself last week. Like a crazy person. Like a crazy person. That was a good <laughs> bit. <laughs> that crazy person part. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. You heard my little uh, review of Watane and Destroyer 666 and Revenge last week. And it was awesome. Great black metal show. And uh, what are we doing here, Mike? Well, we're going to have just one quick little uh... commercial break. We'll do a quick little break. We'll come back with some more metal. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, let me just introduce what we got coming up next. We're going to get some Take, some black metal band, and there's some stuff going on with that band if you haven't heard about Take. Uh, we're going to hear them first, and then we're going to talk about that. Don't go far. Hang on. Hammer Smash, 103.7 <laughs> FM, CFBU. We just heard the band Take, and the song is called Norden Buntet. I hope I didn't... Uh Hope I didn't butcher that. You probably did. Probably like, did. But like, how many times do I butcher a song? So <laughs> that's true. It's all good. You do, but you know what? You do good when it's a French song. I gotta, I gotta hand it to you there. If it's anything that's like somewhat European, I just read it with a French accent. You do, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, this one I don't really know. It starts with Nord though, uh, Nord de Bunte, but by um, Take. And a lot of stuff going on with these guys, Take, the uh, um, what's it called, Norwegian black metal band who has been in a lot of controversy lately in a lot of, like, metal news sites because of um, Antifa. Mm. Yeah, Antifa's, they've, uh, the past couple years, they've been shutting down um, a lot of black metal shows um, because, um, I don't know, because they think, for some reason, that they are associated with, um, you know, these Nazi type, type of black metal bands. And, like, really, to get things that straight out of there... That whole, like, Nazis... Because there is a style out there. It's like NSBM or something. So there's, like, like an actual genre of black metal where it's, like, associated with Nazis. Yeah, and it's really, like, white-powered type of Nazis. Mm. But let me tell you something. That style of black metal sounds like shit. <laughs> it's, like, the worst <laughs> kind of black metal... You heard it here first. ...there is in the world. It's just, like... Ah! It's just... Oh. Yeah, it's just horrible. It's absolutely horrible. And, um, you know, bands are getting um, just a horrible, you know, some of these bands that that aren't even associated with this Nazi black metal are, are, um, you know, they're they're getting a bad rep for it. They're getting getting, uh, in these news sources saying that they're Nazi metal bands and they're having their show shut down for no reason. Uh, One at the top of my head I could think of was Marduk. A couple of years ago, Marduk had a show shut down in Montreal. Montreal had a lot of uh, there's a lot of yeah, we, protests we going on in there. Not, we saw them at uh, were they one of the ones at Heavy MTL? No, no, no. We didn't Who see uh, we didn't see Marduk. I'm thinking of a different band. They're also, I believe, from Germany. Yeah, I'm uh, trying to think. Oh, 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 crap! Now I remember. Now I'm trying to think. Now, uh, Mantar, Mantar. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was sick. Yeah, yeah, they were cool. Those guys were great. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. I'm not going to get all political with this. Just going to give you the facts. And uh, mainly the facts are a lot of these Antifa protesters are protesting against bands that aren't even Nazi bands. Anyway, now that that's out of the way, Take is the latest band to be uh, you know, on these Antifa's hit list. And uh, I guess what they've been doing is they've doing some research of this band Take. Now, I think it was... Uh, 2005, I don't know, years ago, he used to, the lead singer of the band Take Hest, or Hoest, he, he used to have a, like, a Nazi symbol on his chest, why am I, uh, swastika. swastika. He painted a swastika on his chest. Not a tattoo, he just painted it. Right. Just for a show. Um, also in their lyrics, they've got, like, some um, anti-Islamic stuff in their lyrics and stuff like that, which, right. uh, to me, it's like, you know, so, we can have songs with pe- people like rip, like with Deicide right and Slayer right in the, what they write about, right? About yeah, with yeah, yeah. Jesus and mutilating him on the cross. Well, but, even Slayer has songs about um, like the, like topics like that. You yeah, know, every, they, yeah. A lot of the bands do, and you, you know what I mean. But um, but Talkie's not a band that just does that with every single song. They no, just ha- no. they just have that with some songs and stuff like that where they're ripping apart. They rip apart Christianity, uh, Jewish and and you know Muslim all all the religions. They just rip them apart and stuff like that because that's what right. they do. And uh, I don't know, just because the the Antifa saw that you know, Islamic is one of them and being ripped apart, they have to attack Take, you know, and just j- they're just finding all these little reasons. You know to what make SJW stands for? An Antifa. Or- I, I've decided. SJW, I believe now, because it's, it's elevated so much than what it even used to be. I call it like social justice witch hunt. Basically, yeah. You know what I mean? It's a witch it's hunt. It's like a witch hunt because that's what they all do. It's all. It's many of them. And they all uh, like kind of like gang sketch. up on, on them. So, um, yeah, that's what they did. Multiple, multiple of them. Uh, it all started in New York. Many, many people of them, uh, of the Antifa people, shut down the show for in New York for this band, uh, Take. And um, the, the bands that they were touring with, you know, dropped the tour. This other rapper named uh, Talib Koweli, he, you know, he called out Take as well. And said, you know, he doesn't want to be associated with any venue, Take's at. Like, so just basically all this stuff's coming on the news that's just rip, destroying these guys in their career and stuff like that. All because Antifa, you know, shut down a show that they were a part of. So they had to cancel their whole U.S. tour. And they're probably, they're going through so much trouble, they're probably not going to come back. Which wow. sucks. I like their music. I think they're great. Did you hear I mean, what happened good in sounding. Hamilton? Oh, that was today. Yeah, yeah. Some, yeah, some Hamilton, of the uh, some people in the black masks and and, and baseball bats came out of a car and they yeah they're they beat up they're a, a shop or something. They call themselves the un ungovernable or some something like that. I don't know. I don't know what they're trying to do. I think it's just a bunch of kids, you know, who grew up watching V for Vendetta and that's their favorite freaking yeah. movie. Yeah. Which wait, they think see, they're changing the when world. Stuff, when people do stuff like that though in the world, I don't care. I really don't care. No. Do whatever you want. It doesn't bother me. But like when it's um. When it, when, then when it starts affecting, you know, home metal and stuff like that, bands right. are being, people are paying money to go see these bands and stuff like that, and you know, tours are being canceled and stuff like that. That's when it's like, okay, what's going on over here? You're taking away other people's, you know, things, that, you know, that they want to do. Like, if I wanted to go see this band, now I can't mm-hmm. because but, and they're also destroying bands, you know, careers and stuff like that. Because mostly, like I said, most of these bands they're not Nazi bands. They're just black metal bands right. that are, you know. Associated with the scene, black metal is a huge scene, and let's let, one uh, of the genres happens to be Nazi bands. Let's let An- Antifa try to take down Ramstein. Oh God! Uh, let's see what's going to happen. Yeah, there. boy. <laughs> oh boy. But anyway, that's the latest uh, news with uh, the Antifa and Take. They uh, this year or this week they just uh, canceled the rest of their tour, so that sucks. Mm-hmm. I hope they, they do come back because they came to Toronto. I think it was two years ago with no problem. So I don't know. Maybe it's a really a. A states thing, up, uh, I don't know, because it was New York, right? And, of course it was. Yeah, and um, the only thing I've heard in Canada was Montreal with Marduk. So, Take probably won't come to Montreal. Maybe they'll come to Toronto. But um, yeah, we heard them on Hammer Smash. That was a good song. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great I, song. I liked it. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. All right, let's switch the gears now. Uh, I'm gonna get some different uh, metal going on. We've rambled enough, so let's get on some metal that I've been listening to a while lately. It's the new Pestilence, the new album called Hate On that came out this year. And I'm going to play a trippy one for you, Metal Mike. It's called Astral Projection. And it sounds like this. Hey, turn it up. You're listening to Hammer Smash Radio 103.7 FM CFBU. Hey, you're back to Hammer Smash 103.7 FM CFBU. Hammer Smash Joey over here. Metal Mike to his right. And we 
are excited. Why are we excited, Metal Mike? Well, because <laughs> we're both here, we're both here together, and we're bringing you some metal. Feels like it's a long time, eh? Feels one like week, it's one week having it off? Having one week off? It's been <laughs> uh, 14 days since you've been in this room. That's right. Yeah, yeah. That's why it feels so long. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, we're back together. We're here giving you some metal and uh, lots to talk about. We first started out uh, talking about the uh, Watain Destroyer 666 show that I went to last week. If you're just joining us, you got to wait till we post the podcast to hear about that story. Because yeah, I'm not talking like, about it again. Unless, like, you got that thing from Click, the movie Click with Adam <laughs> yeah, Sandler. Yeah, yeah, he does go back. Yeah, rewind. <laughs> but then, like, you know, it's going to ruin your life because every once in a while, and, you know, yep, every yep. year, once one time in, your, in, yep. in that year, it's going to rewind about 30 minutes. And, then, yeah, and, and what and, like, if, like, you're in the middle you, like, of an argument? It takes you down, like, 100 years or 10 years of your life, and mm. next thing you know, you're... Eating a bunch of Twinkies and you got a big fat belly, mm-hmm. and then the you're Eagles crying. The Super Bowl, they lost the Super Bowl that year. I mean, in no, that movie? I, I, no, no, I don't know. Oh, I was gonna I'm say that sucks. You, you, you rewind to like a year where they lose or something. Oh God, <laughs> I don't want to see that. Eagles won, but that's not what we're talking about right now. Right now, what we're talking about is uh, the show last night. Um, uh, yeah, I went to go to the, the show at the Geekery last night. What, what, uh, what a great lineup! It was solid. Started out with the Ripping Friends. From Niagara Falls, some uh, metal covers we had. And how were those? Did they, did they slay them? Oh, yeah, it was great. I came in a little bit late, but uh, I walked in to Sepultura. Whoa. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was pretty sweet. Um, oh, boy, just a bunch of metal covers. Even some Alice in Chains was in there, too. And uh, they ended with uh, Heaven and Hell. They even threw in an offering song. Nice. Yeah, yeah, I thought that was cool as well. Sounded good. Uh, yeah, the River Friends did good starting out with that show last night. And then uh, right after them, we had some uh, fellas from Buffalo called Rebel Scum. And I dug the hell out of those guys. Spotted a CD from them as well. Um, it was awesome. Just heavy, fast energy. Really in your face. Just the that barking style of vocals that I really nice. dig. It was, uh, it was great. And we're going to hear some of those guys uh, later on. And uh, Laid to Rest. Man, Rebel Scum, like I just said, huge energy, laid to rest. They took it to another level. Whoa. It was great. Everyone was moshing, moving around. It had that good punk, metal, thrash vibe to it. It was awesome. It was great stuff. Um, I got uh, For that band, though, I said it was funny. I was turning to Laura. I'm like, it's like big dude metal. Because everyone in the band is <laughs> all, all big dudes. Bigger dudes, They're yeah. all just like lineman metal, I should go. They're all like solid dudes. I'm, uh, you I'm, wouldn't want to mess with anyone laid to rest. I'm like... <laughs> 97% sure years ago when I was walking through Beamsville and I was carrying my bass amp in my bass and I was going on my way to band pra- well we were a band at the time but I was on my way to jam with uh, my buddy Ryan and uh, you know bass amps can get pretty heavy oh yeah like a bass is pretty heavy as well and I'm carrying this and it's you know probably like 14 year old me 15 year old me this van pulls up you know there's no windows on this van it pulls up pulls over and he's like hey <laughs> the big guy, right? And he's like, uh, do you need a ride? I don't know, like me, I'm ballsy, right? I'm like, yeah, absolutely. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> he gets yeah in why this not? Band, right, with this dude and just no windows or nothing. But then he started telling me that, uh, you know, he, he knows what it's like to carry gear across mm-hmm. town and stuff like that. And then he was in a band. And my memory's a little foggy, but I, I could almost... I'm 90% sure that he told me that he was in the band Laid to Rest. Really, eh? Wow. Look yeah. at that. That's cool. That's cool how that it's story how worked it, uh, out that it, way. Yeah, it turned around. Yeah, right? it's funny. No, it's great, man. No, uh, like I said, yeah, big dude metal. You wouldn't want to mess with any of those guys. No. They all look just <laughs> tough, tough looking dads up there. You wouldn't want to mess with. And uh, But yeah, no, they, their music was great, too. It was awesome. Like I said, it had that good punky thrash, um, fast metal um, vibe to it. It was awesome. People were moshing, headbanging. A lot of fun. And then the uh, last band to close it up was our pals in Decatur. Mm-hmm. And they tore the house down, as they usually do. It was great. Good stuff. And uh, we're going to hear an interview from those guys. Yeah, you, your very own Hammer Smash Joe scored an interview. Yep, yep. Uh, with so, uh, all of them or just? Just a couple of the guys. Okay. So we'll uh, we'll hear from those guys uh, later on in the interview. So And um, yeah, we're going to hear a couple more of the bands of like what I, of what I saw last night. Okay. And then we'll get the interview going. Play a Decatur song, so we'll get that geekery block going. And um, to end this little thing up, I'll say it was awesome. Give my review of that. It was it was a great show. Good turnout last night. A lot of people around there. Oh, and they did the uh, they did the guitar giveaway yesterday. I bought yes, a lot of moose heads yesterday. Some refreshments. A lot of adult <laughs> beverages I consumed. Out, I did not win it. I didn't. Uh, you did not win it. I did not win it. Nobody won. Someone won named Nash. 
Nobody Kevin knew. Nash. Yeah, that's what I said. I'm like, <laughs> Kevin? But uh, nobody knew who he was, and then, like, nobody clapped at all. <laughs> it was just silent, and we're like, all right, whatever, let's go back to the next song. Because <laughs> like, he wasn't there to win it. redrawn. I know, right? But, no, I didn't <laughs> win. Uh, but it was a good night, and it was awesome. So, did, they, uh, did they show the guitar? They did. It was this white Godin guitar. It was, it was really nice. nice. Yeah, yeah, well, it was a nice guitar. Well, yeah, I enjoyed looking at it. <laughs> you couldn't touch it. <laughs> hey, I got my adult beverages, though. Yeah, I had a good true. time. Yep, it was fun. All right, what are we starting okay, off with? Okay, let's start out with, uh, I don't have any ripping friends. I guess I could uh, play one of those, a uh, cover that they do, but uh, you know, you've probably heard one of their covers already a thousand times. So mm. let's uh, let's hear something you've probably never have heard. Here's a little side project of the ripping friends. It's their other band with the bass player and the drummer. Hey, don't play this. Yeah, well, actually, yeah. It's called Don't Play This. No, no, don't listen to this. No, so, don't listen So we can't play it. So we can play it. We'll play it, but you got to turn the volume down. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we can play it, but you can't turn it down. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, and it's called Never Listen to This by Total Duo. And uh, we're going to hear some of the uh, some of this right now on Hammer Smash 103.7 FM. This song is called Baby Flusher. Hammer Smash, 103.7 FM. That was Rebel Scum, the song Scum of the Earth. Before that, we had a band called Total Duo, but it's the Ripping Friends and their song, Baby Flusher, which was fantastic. Now we're going to continue with the show, or the bands that performed at the Geekery this past Saturday, and we have our intern, Joey Concrete Foundation, and we're going to play an interview with the band Decatur that... Our intern received. What do they got to hey, say? Hey, this is Hammer Smash Joey from Hammer Smash Radio with the boys from Decatur, and we want to know. We want to know what's going on. What's cooking with Decatur? Well, first off, thanks for having us. We appreciate you having us yeah, on. This is awesome. And we're super excited to let everybody know that we got a killer East Coast tour coming up in the springtime throughout the month of May. We're gonna go all the way to Halifax and back, so we're really pumped about that. So uh, keep uh, on our social medias and make sure you're cu- keeping up to date with what's going on for the tour because uh, we're gonna be hitting a lot of cities and we're really pumped to do that. So, and another thing we got going is we just finished off a little bit of a, a music video that we had going. Yeah, for Worst Enemy, a great song. It's a killer tune. Super excited to put that out there. We did it with a good friend of ours, Steve Haining, who's an uh, incredible job with him at his place. So, uh, pro. such a pro. Super excited. And uh, we're, we know you guys are going to love it. I, I think you guys are going to really dig the video. It's kind of a cool concept in a, a room that closes in on you. It's kind of a song about mental illness. And, uh, you know, we're really excited to share that with everybody because it's something we feel like everybody struggles with. And uh, the video kind of gives a good representation of how it feels how to get closed in on yourself. And we're really pumped to put it out there for people to see that the visual and musical aspect of it connect. Awesome! Thanks for sharing that. I really like excited for, to, to see the music video and the song coming out with that. When can we expect to see it? We're hoping to have the video out right before we go out for tour. So give you a little bit of a pump up uh, before we come out there and crush every city we come on. There you, uh, there you go. You heard it from the guys from Decatur. Keep on their social media so you can know when everything's coming out. Their Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. You heard it from the guys from Decatur. I'm Hammer Smash Joey, and we're going to hear some Decatur on Hammer Smash 103.7 FM. You're listening to Hammer Smash 103.7 FM CFBU. Goddamn friggin' right you are. Listen to Hammer Smash 103.7 FM CFBU. You hear that? You hear that thud? That was a damn hammer. <laughs> that's right. Hitting the desk. Hitting the damn desk, because that's what you're doing. Every Sunday you're listening to this great radio station and great radio program where we uh, we get you metal. Mm. Get you metal on the radio on Sunday. And officially certified playing you the best metal. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Over here. I heard that last week yeah. on the podcast. You see, you talked about that. We uh, we played some Astaroth, who I did see at uh, Watain. Nice. I did see them and not uh, performing, but no, they, not performing. They were all there. No, but uh, they were the ones that relayed to me the information that they are playing in the Vakin uh, final battle, and that's at the end of the month uh, at the Hard Luck. Oh, the so hard luck. we will nice. uh, we will pump that out on our social media page, and we will uh, let you know what's going on with that. Also, stay tuned to our social media page regularly because we're posting stuff uh, a lot more time. now. Yeah, yeah, we're posting stuff. Um, whether it's the podcast, which uh, we're always pumping out that podcast. It's the condensed version of this show, mm-hmm. basically. What are you hearing? Is you're not hearing the music, you're just hearing the ramblings of Metal Mike and I talking about some stuff, what went on in the show, hence the podcast. We would love to include the music in there, just, you know, 
We don't have lawyers. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So <laughs> we we'll, uh, we and plus, you know that. what? Then, uh, then what's the point of listening to the show on Sunday if we had the music in there? You know, get us switch it. You know, well then there yeah, you, you want to hear the music? Yeah. You got to listen live. Absolutely, there you go. And you can find us on YouTube at Hammer Smash Radio Online. Yeah, that's our new thing. Uh, YouTube because we ran out of the free uh, uploads for SoundCloud. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> we got to And like out. we don't we don't get paid for. But this, it's a little so, bit better now yeah. because if you're you know watching. Uh, we throw out some pictures and stuff like that, so you get a little bit of a slideshow you're watching. So it's pretty cool. You can uh, check that out. And I always, always uh, look at our social media page for uh, upcoming shows that we'll be talking about, as well as giveaways. We got uh, some giveaways that we're going to be uh, doing mm-hmm. uh, this week. And a new thing for a giveaway that we're going to be doing is um, each week we seem to be talking about the geekery or a show in general mm-hmm. that's going on in this area. So uh, every Sunday from now on, whenever we are talking about an upcoming show, not like a review show, which I just uh, did already with the Decatur show last night, but uh, an upcoming show. So if, say there's a show coming up this Friday, we are going to have a contest time because I got a bunch of free passes, a bunch of bracelets that can get you into the geekery for free. And everyone likes getting the shows for free, so we're going to have some contests going on with that. And um, yeah, just listen to the show and stay tuned to the social media so you know when that's coming. And in case you don't already know our Facebook, you could find us on Hammer Smash 103.7 FM. We'll, uh, we'll have lots of content for you to go through. We post all the bands that we play every week. So in case yeah. you're like, what, what song was that? There What's, you go. What yeah, song yeah. did we play after uh, after Decatur there? You know what, that Metal Mike? I've Thune, done, by the way. I have done that before. I did that one time... Uh, when you did the show, I think it was when the Eagles were playing in the Super Bowl. I, right. had the, I had the night off, and I was listening to it on the way home from where I was, like the part, the Super Bowl party. And uh, right after uh, uh, Black Label Society, there was a song. I didn't know what it was. I'm like, whoa, this is great. <laughs> I had no idea what it was. So you know what I did, Metal Mike? I waited until you posted. I waited until you posted that status, and I looked for Zach Well, What was after it? Boom, Mammoth Grinder. Oh, now Mammoth I know Grindr. who it was. Very good. Man. There we go. <laughs> but no, they, see what I'm saying? Absolutely. I found out from doing that, and you too you can, can do, do that as well. as well. But enough plugging ourselves, all that. Metal Mike, I want you to plug those two bands that we just heard. Well, there's uh, a band before that. The first band, that seven-minute song, that was a band called Thoom. If you ever played Skyrim, you know how important the Thoom yeah, is. Yeah, the shouting is the Thoom. The, thoom. Dra- the dragon's language. And the band was, or the song was called "Worthless." And right after that, a Canadian band called a Halux, or Halux, however you pronounce it. I don't know. Whatever part of the world. Both you live were in. wicked. Yes. Good vocals going and on with that. The song was called "Herders of the Week." So, uh, yeah, those are the two songs we just played back to back there. Yeah, I liked it. It was good stuff. And you now, can check it out on our. Uh, speaking Facebook. about social media, we have two songs we're actually going to play that we and you can uh, get in touch with us through social media because we like to take requests. Make our jobs easier. Make your listening experience yeah. more, uh, you know, more relatable. Totally. We get a few requests uh, each week, and uh, you can always call us, too, on our landline, 905-346-2645. Give us a call and let us know if you want a request. Mm-hmm. But uh, somebody already beat you to a request, and Sorry. his name is Metal Dan. <laughs> so this one goes out to Metal Dan, who uh, got the first request for this week's Hammer Smash radio program. And uh, you know what Metal Dan wants to hear? He wants to hear some ass fix and Dismember, so we're going to play some Asphix and Dismember back-to-back, starting out with Asphix, back into eternity on Hammer Smash, 103.7 FM, CFBU. Some Dismember on Hammer Smash, 103.7 FM, CFBU. Coming off the album Indecent and Obscene, we uh, we just heard, oh boy, I lost it now. <laughs> I got a swear word in it, Metal Mike. Oh, no. I got to say a swear word on air. All right, I'll give you permission <laughs> this one time. Thank you. It's called... If you're sensitive... Hold on. Oh, all if right. you're sensitive... All right. Plug your ears now. Okay. It's called Eviscerated Bitch. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Got to say that on air. Or you could unplug your ears now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, you had some uh, Swedish uh, death metal right there. I uh, love it. With the uh, the buzzsaw guitars, dismember one of those bands in the uh, the Swedish big four death metal bands that really made that sound really popular. Buzzsaw guitar, deep beat, freaking drums. Yeah. <laughs> You're all pumped up now. Aren't I you? love it. Dismember's <laughs> awesome, man. I haven't, we haven't played them on the show yet. So it's our first time getting them on. And then before that was Asphyx with their song uh, Back Into Eternity off the album Depths of Eternity. Asphyx, Metal Mike. Not ass. Fix. <laughs> not, don't fix ass your ass. Fix. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, uh, those of you listening, Metal Mike, uh, after we played that song, he looked at me and he goes, Asphyx? <laughs> 
<laughs> like you know, like asphy- asphyxiation. You know, you, you know, like what a snake does. You to can't you. tell me this band's never like received that like reply. You know what I mean? What's oh, band yeah, name? Totally. Asphyx. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Totally. Well, like as as fix would be the proper way, like asphyxiate, but um, that's ooh, a, yeah. that's not as fun. Well, well, you know, like, back in the fix. day, when bands used to have like m or like shows used to have like MCs. Like, all right, ladies and gentlemen, up next, we're gonna have a band now, a local band. And um, okay, so the, the the name of this the name of this band uh, so um, asphyx, <laughs> <laughs> and the band's like sitting in the back, like that's not our name. <laughs> it's a, that's not it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they rule. And uh, yeah, thanks to awesome. thanks to Metal Dan for giving us some requests to get uh, Asphyx and Dismember up on there. He loves that uh, Swedish death metal as uh, well. Oh, Metal Metal Dan and I were talking about some uh, Swedish death metal as well yesterday. And uh, one of the albums that he brought in, remember when they came in, they brought in uh, some some vinyls. Yes. One of the vinyls that he brought in that we didn't get to play was a band called uh, God Forsaken. And I uh, looked those guys up, and whew, wow, they're good. Maybe I'll put them on. Maybe if I could squeeze them in, we'll put them on the show. But uh, not right now, because we got to go to the realm of Canada. Yeah, we got to go play some Canadian tunes. Great White North. Oh yeah, we're gonna get some Canadian tunes. Do we got to play a commercial? Or are uh, we good? Are we good. Can we play? Can we, can we get some uh, metal in the Hammerhead's ears? Tell you what, I'll just I'll do I'll do one commercial. Okay. Fire oh, up. Hold up. Just kidding. Already played it. I'm ahead of schedule. Oh, look at you. <laughs> ahead of schedule. Look at us. There we go. Let's not waste any more time then with. Uh, the rambling and bambling, rambling, bambling, rambling man. How's it going? Lord, go? I was born a rambling, bambling man. <laughs> rambling, <laughs> rambling, gambling man. That's it. Uh, Bob Seger. <laughs> That's a great song too. Okay, what was? What, what am I doing now? Oh yeah, <laughs> Bob Seger. He, he distracted me. We're going on with some Vanta Black Warship. These guys are from Montreal, and um, they have a show coming up. They have a show coming up as well. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, May the fourth, I believe, at the Geekery. And uh, we'll touch more about that show, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So, you know, what? Actually, when that show is coming up, we're going to be giving away some tickets. And also, um, we may be having them on the show or an interview with them. So, definitely be looking forward to that as we head closer to the show, which is on May the fourth. Yes, for sure. Yes. So, stay tuned to that. We uh, we'll try to get these guys on the show. But in the meantime, we're going to hear some metal from Fanta Black Warship, and this song is called "The Black Hole." It's on Hammer Smash 103.7 FM CFBU. <laughs> Hey, turn it up. You're listening to Hammer Smash Radio 103.7 FM, CFBU. Hey, you're back to Hammer Smashed, and uh, the song that we just heard was a song called The Black Hole by Vanta Black Warship. Me and Metal Mike said at least like, three <laughs> times to each other while that song was playing. Damn! Oh man, I like this. this Ooh, awesome. I like this. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> you know, you know that's that that's the that's the riff face. Ooh, you know. Ooh, I love that <laughs> when you hear a good riff, or just like even when it's like a note that's so fuzzy, mm. that's like, you know, one of those notes that are so thick. I think I've said this before. You could grab onto it. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. It's. And there's like there's the two faces. There's either like the ooh face or like yeah, yeah. the sour face, where you just like you just eat like a lemon. Yeah, egg. yeah, the sour face. Mm. Uh, the gold dust. The gold dust. <laughs> the gold. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah, that could be like yeah, that could be like something where it's it's got to take it to the next level. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't see very many of the gold dust face, but I, I get a lot of the ooh. I get a lot of those. Very nice. That's another ref- wrestler reference. I'm sure we could <laughs> think of some. Ooh. All, every show, all show, it's all wrestling references. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> all right. So I noticed, I'm looking back at our uh, our playlist here. We played a lot of great music. Oh, yeah. We had one block. Uh, I specifically pointed out where it's just a big block of absolute heaviness. And there's about four or five or six songs. But you know Pummeled what, you. You know what we haven't played any of? We haven't played any Stoner Doom. Yeah, we haven't played any Stoner Doom, Stoner Rock. No desert No fuzz, no desert. Uh, We did play some Doom, though. Played some traditional Doom. Traditional Doom. Some Death Doom. But we got to get to the Stoner realm right now. And Metal Mike, he's going to take care of us with that. I'm going to hit you with some back-to-back Stoner. We're going to start with a Canadian band called Terminus. And the song is called Dark Age in Black Flame. So check it out. Hammer Smash, 103.7 FM. Hey, hey, hey. Hammer Smash Joey over here. And so is the music. <laughs> Turn that down a little bit so we can hear us, because now it's you got to hear us say goodbye. It's the end of the show. It That's is. Right. It's that time again. It's that uh, time again where you got to put your hands on your fingers, <laughs> your ears in the air. you got to take 
11 greasy steps to the left. 22 st- stinky steps to the right. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta put on your shit and shoes. Shit and shoes. <laughs> uh, Mike and I had discovered um, that Mad Libs are fun. We did game a Mad Lib. When you're drinking. Yeah, <laughs> on a Friday. <laughs> we did. And it's fantastic. That was fun. That was a fun night. <laughs> yeah. And then apparently, I guess uh, I found out from our friend Juris that you, you snapped a pic of me snoozing. Yeah, oh yeah, you were you were straight snoozing. <laughs> did you put it on your story or did no, you just I just sent it to him. Send it in, yeah, I figured because I looked at your story and I didn't see uh, didn't see snoozing Joe. No, I did that because he was in the falls and I was in the falls, right? So yeah, what was he doing? Why didn't uh, he come by? He was working, but uh, he had got off it. Anyway, this is a conversation. For yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> we're talking about what, 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 what we're doing on air. <laughs> anyway, you know. Hey, you want to come hang out with Metal Mike on us on the weekend? Yeah, there you go. That's what yeah. we talk about. What we do. <laughs> if you got nothing going on the weekend, hang hang out with us, and mm-hmm. we just do the same stuff. Well, listen to listen to this music. Watch Thor movies. Watch Thor movies and like, like Thor the musician, not Thor the musician. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. That is correct. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's the end of our show. Now we're gonna go home. We're gonna go watch. Uh, well, uh, some movies and stuff like that, because that's what we usually do. Mm-hmm. At the end of the show, we just, like, talk to each other and ask, uh, Hey, Mike, what are you going to watch <laughs> I said tonight? this last week, too. You did, and yeah. I was yeah, like, I don't have anyone right. to talk to. Yeah, you movies. got no one to talk to about movies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of new stuff on Netflix, though. Mm-hmm. Like, I just was on there the other day, and there's just a bunch of random crap on there. I'm sure I'll find something. You got to weed something. through the crap, yeah. And then uh, I'll find something and then turn it off a minute through <laughs> and then put on something else. Yeah. That's how you watch Netflix. That's the only way. Yeah. But anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in, and uh, that's uh, the end of the show. Tune in to the uh, Facebook, look at uh, the songs that we're going to post in about five minutes. We're going to get that going on, and uh, you can see all the songs. We're going to get the uh, podcast going on, and uh, we I'm, save this yes. to the very end of the show, and that is the contest. We're going to uh, post uh, as well with the set list. We're going to post uh, what you're going to look forward to uh, for the contest, and that's probably going to happen tomorrow. So, um yeah, I'm letting you know about something that we're letting you know about the day before. We call this a teaser in the yeah, radio business. but like a tease of a tease. A tease of a tease. Yeah, wow. Wow. Yeah, but if you really want to know, you can just give us a call at 905-346-2645 anytime. Give us a call. We're going to be here for another uh, five, ten minutes because we got one last song to play for you. Yes. We're going to end the show with uh, some Black Sabbath. I'll the dehumanize a record with Dio on vocals. Here's a song. Letters from Earth, and uh, let's get it going. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Let's 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 leave them with some Sabbath. It's always a good show when we leave them with Sabbath. Absolutely. That's it. Uh, I'm Hammer Smash, Joey Metal Mike, and uh, we will catch you next Sunday on Hammer Smash Radio. And as always, may the metal be with you, and also with you. Here's Black Sabbath.